was going to see me too. I was challenged. And this is a one knife, one gun challenge by One Wild Camaro Supersport. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Uh, no, I'm not mad about it. That's cool. Uh, but I'm not going to tag nobody else. So everybody chill out right now and enjoy watching the video. Because uh, I'm not going to tag nobody else. But I am going to show you the one knife and the one gun. If I had to, that's the one I'd want. Because it's probably one of the most common guns. And it's pretty deadly. Not long range, but close range. But before I show you the gun, I'll show you the knife. This is a uh, old timer I got this knife as a gift for my five year anniversary working for uh, the company that I work for Shaw Industry and I've had it that long I've been working I've had it 20 years I've been working 25 years so it's got a little bit of blood on it and stuff but there she is it's got that green plastic handle got great grip on it it's got a gut hook it stays pretty sharp. It's really easy to sharpen. It's pretty sharp right now. That's the one I used to gut that deer out I got the other day. And uh, I really, it's really easy to clean. It's, it's stainless, man. It's uh, got a charade USA blade on it. I've Every deer I've ever killed, I've skinned with that knife. Every one of them. And I've only been hunting, hunting about 13, 14 years. So, yeah, I started late on hunting, but uh, that is my knife of choice. I love that knife. It's light. It's easy to put on your side. It's got this little case that comes with it. it. It's got a great grip. It's really thick. You could beat it through with some wood, I bet, and it still hold on. It's a really nice knife. I'll get a close-up picture of it, and I'll put it in the picture, in a video here somewhere. And uh, let you see it, a little closer view of it. See what you think about that. All right. My gun of choice. You know, and I've got lots of guns. Ain't gonna say how many, but I got a lot of guns. Um, probably not more than one Wild Camaro SS or Super Sport, but yeah. But this gun here, I was given to me as a gift. Uh, someone a long, long time ago, and uh, it's a Mossberg 500, and yeah, I keep it locked. That's just me. Um, it's a Mossberg 500. I keep her shined up. That's the way it was, and I pulled it out of the box. Uh, this is original everything that came with it. It's a six shot. The plug is actually in the barrel here. I've got it inside the wooden plug that comes with it. And I just put this strap on here. Y'all recognize that strap? That looks like the one I had on my last video, don't it? Yeah, it's just like it. Works real good, too. So, I'm glad about that. I have shot. This thing's got a super, super short barrel. I mean, it's great for, you know, close range. and It'll reach out there, too, you know, but I really like it. What's cool about this gun is, and I bought this at a gun show years and years ago. This, this right here. If I break this thing down and put this on here and take this pistol grip and put it on here, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but this thing is that short. I mean, when this, when this goes on here, this gun, I mean, is like, this, I mean, it's only that. Drop that. I It's only about that long. I mean, when you got the pistol grip on it, and you got this on it, ch -ch boom, the gun's only about that long. I mean, it's super short. And that's a stock barrel. I did not put this bead on here. This come like it. It's like a 18 and a half inch barrel. It's really short. So it's only probably 18 and a half plus the 10. It's about 30. About 30 inches long. I mean, it's just like that, man. This this gun is short. With that on there, that's all it is. I mean, it's awesome. 
So I really like it. I've had it a long time. I mean, I got a, I got a slug here. I got some double lock bucks right here, real handy. Uh, still got the paperwork when I bought it brand new, or they bought it brand new and give it to me. So I kept up with that, hung on to it. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, this is the actual Mossberg lock that come with it as well. So it's all original, everything's here. And I've tried to keep it clean the best I could. Yeah, she's got a little bit of wear on her, a little scuff here and there, and where I've tuck it, you know, tuck this end off and put it back on. But this thing packs a wallet, boy. I'm telling you, boom, it puts you on you. So that's it right there. That's my this one and this one, an old timer, my Mossberg 500. Now, if you come down to it, and the worst come to worst, I would think that there would be a whole lot of more shotgun shells out there that would be more accessible you could probably trade other shells for shotgun shells you know to get what you need and you could you know, besides you could just you, could, you know I, I love shotguns and uh, I like shooting them they're a lot of fun I took this thing and went out to a shooting range and I chased a five I mean a, a gallon jug across the 50 yard field just boom 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 it just keep going up in the air it was so fun man and uh, yeah I like this old gun it's been with me a long time, and I guess I'll hang on to it for a, a whole bunch longer. But it's a 12 gauge Mossberg 5. That's my that's my choice as far as uh, if I had to have a gun, you want to get something that's real common. It's 22. Don't don't think it's not a good gun. You can reach out there with a 22, and you can shoot somebody close with a 22. It doesn't have to be a big old 223 or 30 6 or whatever. You know, you can all them guns are still good. But this close range, you can't hardly beat a shotgun. Now, I know reaching out there would be a little difficult, but, you know, for when it comes to defense, home defense, a shotgun, especially when it broke down with that pistol grip, man, and uh, I would take it apart and put it all back together, but I don't want to get into all that. It's not that it's aggravating. It's just I'm lazy. <laughs> So I appreciate you tagging me in that one wild Camaro Super Sport. And uh, y'all have a good time and good day and great weekend. I've been here, I am working seven days again, so I know y'all getting tired of hearing that. But uh, it's just the way it is. It's beautiful out here in the woods. Deer are walking and running. Today and tomorrow are supposed to be some of the best deer hunting available. It's cool, it's got a little mist in the air, you know, kind of kind of moisture in the air. I know we've got a lot of smoke in the air too because of all these wildfires around here. Y'all get on the Google and Google and you'll find out real quick there's lots and lots of wildfires around here and uh, over in LJ, Georgia and Gilmer County, they got a big problem. We don't get some rain soon. I mean, it's, it's done busted about 30,000 acres. It's pretty bad. So um, y'all pray for rain for us. We sure do need it down here real bad. Bad as I, I really don't care too much for rain, you know. I like rain. I like We need it. Rain makes corn. Corn makes whiskey. Whiskey makes my Miss Betty get a little frisky. <laughs> I figure y'all get a kick out of that. All right, y'all. This is Captain's Corner Cemetery. Y'all come back and see me and uh, pray for rain. <laughs>